Welcome to the Tree House of Love. We're live. Join the conversation at 512-836-0590. Now, here are Todd and Don. 707 Todd oh, well. Jeffries and Don Pryor. Hey. We begin with the top stories you need to know about today. An autopsy was performed for convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. He was found dead in his uh, cell there in the Manhattan Correctional Facility Saturday morning. New York Democrat Senator and 2020 presidential wannabe Kirsten Gildebrand was on CBS Face the Nation. She says Epstein's alleged victims deserve their day in court. They deserved justice. Uh, they deserve to um, speak out against uh, this perpetrator. And it is a shame uh, that he committed suicide. I do think there needs to be a full investigation about why he was taken off the terror watch, excuse me, why he was taken off the suicide watch list. I think it's uh, a strange decision given that he attempted suicide once already. Yeah, just six days prior. How did he get off the suicide watch? I I would think that that takes a doctor, right? Well, officials have yet to release the autopsy findings for Epstein. Many alleged victims, lawmakers, and Attorney General Bill Barr demand an investigation, at the very least, into his death. Also, a co-founder of Austin's Workers' Defense Project is now entering the race for U.S. Senate. Christina Tazani Ramirez will run in the Democrat primary. She joins multiple candidates who want to take on Senator John Corden. She is an employee, the co-founder of the Workers' Defense Project. By the way, side note, is the most powerful political organization in Austin, Texas. You can't build anything in Austin, Texas without paying and giving the stamp of approval to the Workers' Defense Project. Very powerful group. And a group has filed a Department of Labor complaint against the Austin-based Workers' Defense Project. It's the Alliance for Economic Freedom's Rusty Brown. He says they want the WDP investigated after the labor group pushed through an Austin City Council Better Builder Program. You know where you got to get their approval? This yeah. organization is representing a group of workers for the purposes of collective bargaining, but doing it under a nonprofit so that they're not subject to the same rules and requirements as a labor organization would yeah. normally be. Yeah, they are a shady operation. Also, it's been two weeks since Austin's police chief, Brian Manley, imposed 100% mandatory staffing in the downtown entertainment district following multiple weekends of shootings and violence. Manley says the APD has now added mobile trailers and more cops to increase visibility. And a memo from the chief says drugs, assaults, and public drunkenness, that's the main issue. Uh, more police are expected every weekend over the next couple of months. Also, if you're someone who knows how to hack a phone and you need a million dollars, you can get it from Apple. Apple is putting its cybersecurity to the test and offering a bug bounty to hackers that they can find a security hack in the Apple products. Yeah, the idea makes it the highest bug bounty ever offered by a tech company. And the offer isn't just for phones. It's also for Mac computers. <laughs> come test us, Trump. Come try to break in, they say. Exactly. Now you're up to date. The Daily Dossier on the front page of our website at newsradioklbj.com. We dare you. We dare you. And a million bucks to them, that's nothing. Man, that's just lunch money to Apple. Yeah. So big deal. I bet somebody can do it. I bet somebody will do it. You think so? I, I th- really do. I, I think I think there's somebody out there that will crack this. Yeah. Uh, not that I have any technical uh, knowledge on it, but uh, something tells me. I mean, it's they're always having to stay one step ahead of somebody that can hack into these things. So I, I think there's somebody out there in a million dollars that's going to entice somebody. Absolutely. Uh, 710 here on the Todd and Don Show. And student loan debt is hurting most Americans' retirement savings, according to a new study. <laughs> I don't think we need a new study to say this, no. but outstanding student loan debt is on a rise in the United States. Just in June, it's nearly hit $1.6 trillion. Of course, that's a record amount because it's not going down. It'll be a record amount next month. Yeah, and More Americans are delaying their savings for retirement as a result. A staggering 84% of American adults reported that student loans are hurting the amount of money they're able to save for retirement. Uh, Yeah, this is pretty interesting. It's research conducted by MIT's Age Lab, published in the Teachers Insurance Annuity Association Retirement Fund. About three out of four borrowers said that they're putting off maximum, maximizing their retirement savings instead of focusing on paying down their student loan debt. Well, you know, unfortunately, student loans uh, debt happens when... um uh, people are so young that they have no real, they have no concept that someday they're going to retire or, or want to retire and need to start doing it. So they have, they've never even paid a bill. A lot of them, that's the problem with, they rack up all this debt and they have no feel for, for, 
finances, period. Well, you say, you say they're 19, and, and, and that's their problem. The problem is their parents didn't raise them right. Well, there's that, too. It's a stupid thing. Yeah. It's a stupid thing to go into that kind of debt and starting your life It off. really is. College is not worth it. Starting your college, life? College, college is not worth the expense to forego your parents' retirement. Absolutely not. Yeah. What kind of bomb are you living off the backs of your parents' retirement? Yeah. You're a scumbag yeah. at the age of 19. I, I, listen, I'm with you. I'm with you. It is not the way to get started. Yeah, I'll get there in a bit, but right now I have $100,000 in debt to take care of, and I'm 24. More than a quarter, 26% said they are not saving for retirement at all because of student loan debt, the highest non-mortgage debt in the in the United States. Here's a, here's a quote from the TIAA president, Roger Ferguson, Jr. He says, to be sure, getting a college degree remains one of the smartest investments a person can make in their financial future, but saving for retirement is equally important. Well, I'm not 100 percent a college degree remains the smartest investment for everybody not, in every degree. Not for everybody, no. It can be. Not a degree just for the sake of a degree because it's going to make you feel better and certainly make your parents feel better. It's a lot more to it than that, man. Yeah. Why Why are you doing it, and what are you going to do with it? That's the thing. There's, and, and so much of this student debt is piling up for degrees that aren't going to be used. It is uh, 713 here on the Todd and Don Show. The Todd and Don Show.